Hello and welcome to the Greenhouse. Welcome to Nova Scotia. A bit of a drizzly rainy day in Nova Scotia today, hence why I'm in the Greenhouse. Thought I'd take the chance to catch up on a few jobs that I haven't been doing over the last few weeks and it's apparent now that they definitely need doing. So I'm going to be tying up some cucumbers into the ceiling so that I can get them using the vertical space rather than them scrambling all over the, the, uh, the bed here. So if I use the vertical I can, I can grow them up and the, and the cucumbers will be hanging down nicely. And the same with the tomatoes, although we always sort of use the vertical space with the tomatoes, but I had some canes in there just for, a, um, for the time being. But as you can see, they're starting to, to fall over and they've overtaken the canes. So I need to put some, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie them into the ceiling and hopefully they'll just wind their way up the, uh, the rope. So as you can see here, I've tied the string just in the, uh, the bottom leaf of the actual stem here. And what I'm gonna do is wind it round the ones here Ooh. What am I doing? just the once and then Ooh. being careful not to pull the stem too much tie it into this nail that I've got here Ethan can you come round and hold this string for me please. Come round this side mate. My tus trusty sidekick Ethan with uh, his new frog hat. Looking good. Helping me here. Just hold that like that. That's it, good lad. So, now as the plant grows, I'll just wind it around this string. Might need a bit more strength in there at some point. You can put that down, mate. But uh, that'll wind its way up, and uh, I might have it growing along here, or along here. But um, the point is, I'm using a bit of vertical space now. So I've got a couple of them, one, two. And now I'm gonna move on to, the, once I've done that one, I'll come back to you, and we'll have a look at doing the actual tomatoes. Shall we do the next one, sir? Mm -hmm. Good luck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a nail in here and then I'm gonna get the string and I'm gonna run the string down and then tie it off to the tomato. And hopefully I'll be able to do that with all of them and the uh, job will be a good one. And then I'll wind them around. Nice one. Yeah. Right. Let's try this off down here. Lovely smell of tomato leaves. Sweet. What we're going to do? Pass me the string, sir. Thank you. I'm going to unroll this string and do the same as what we did with the tomatoes. Uh, with the cube. Oh, no, that should be alright. Right, so have a look, shall we? So now, what I need to do is pull my trousers up and then get this. Sort of wrap it. Around the string. Maybe. Obviously, not wanting to knock the flowers off.
There you go. What do you reckon to that? Good, yeah. That'll do, will it? Yeah. yeah. Right, so we've got some of these suckers that we want to get rid of. So, I have tied the string off at the bottom there, and now it comes all the way up. And that goes all the way up to the ceiling, and that'll give the plant a chance to climb its way up the string. And then all I've got to do is just wrap the next bit around as it goes up, and that should hold it nicely. Beauty. So now I should do it with all the rest of them. Well, that is them all done. That took me quite a bit of time actually. A good couple of hours. That was quite tricky uh, in some places putting them up, but they're all up now. As you can see, all fairly straight and on their way up to the top there. So that's them all nice and secured in, except well, I say this one's nice and secured in, but um, I was doing a bit, I'm doing a bit of an experiment this year on this one. So I've let this one go and not pruned off its side shoots. And uh, I just wanted to do an experiment to see how many tomatoes I'm going to get. And as you can see, it's gone all over the place already. I have actually trimmed a couple of side shoots today because it's gone absolutely bonkers and I can see why people trim them now because you know you're keeping it nice and neat going up whether it's a pole or the string where this you don't know where it's going all over the place and there's there's leaves covering other leaves um, so it's going to be very difficult to control it but do the experiment see if we get more tomatoes with this one than the other ones but I'm pretty pleased it's all nice and, and neat now and they should grow up nicely over the next few weeks and months. I've also trimmed off more of the side shoots on the other ones. Lots of them turning up when you, when you, uh, oh look, there's one down there even. When you haven't got your eye on them, they, they sort of uh, sneak out all over the place. But pleased with that. So trimmed off the side shoots and also started trimming off inside leaves. So inside there, it's starting to get murky, but tomatoes are forming and we want to keep that fairly light. So, and also I want that airflow ability to, you know, to get a bit of airflow in that inside so we don't encourage any diseases. So I'm cutting off inside leaves as much as is possible to try and keep it nice and fairly light anyway. But um, we've got tomatoes forming on all the different and um, plants so that is good and I'm pleased pleased with how it's gone I've got the cucumbers done tomatoes done and even behind me I've got some tomatoes done as you can see jobs are good